What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Um, this is Sylvia Treasures. Uh, we're going to be talking and looking into some more Hondas again today. Um, 164 scale of course um, by Hobby Japan and Tomika Limited Vintage Neo. Um, I just got this in the mail. I already opened it up and unscrewed it off the base to save you guys some time. Um, but I just got this Milano Red AG in um, from Hong Kong. Fairly cheap right now, actually, um, for, uh, I think, $21, $22. Or so I think that's a pretty good deal, in my opinion. Uh, before we start, guys, uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, go ahead and leave a like. And if you haven't already, uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I do post videos four days uh, a week for you guys on all different kinds of 164 cars. So... All right, so Hobby Japan, we're gonna go ahead and look at that first. Um, first thing to note is Hobby Japan, uh, in, well, this model in particular does not roll. Does, oop, does not roll at all. So it's gonna be a stationary model. Um, if that turns you guys off, then yeah, I would avoid Hobby Japan immediately. Um, just does not roll at all. Won't even roll if you force it. Uh, but other than that, the details on this model are are just fantastic. They just have so much realistic details on this model. And we'll go ahead and look at it um, right now. So let me zoom in for you guys. It does come with an engine stand too, actually. Um, an engine crate and um, um, a little, I don't know if this is a B16 or a B18 engine, but... Yeah, so this is the little intake side and the exhaust side. And very hard to see, but if you guys look really carefully, you guys can see that little VTEC um, symbol on the top and then the little Honda logo on the bottom, which is realistic. This looks pretty similar to what I had in my uh, uh, GSR back in the day. So really cool. And it comes with this um, crate. Um, Pretty nice for dioramas, I would say. I'll probably put this in my uh, my green light diorama, my garage diorama. So that's the engine. And onto the model now. It's absolutely uh, crazy just how much detail they packed in for a $20, $25 model. Starting with the front, I mean, just take a look at the uh, windshield wipers. So realistic. And uh, compared to Tomica Limited Vintage, which I'll show you guys in a little bit, it's... It's just night and day. Um, side profile is really nice too. It just has that um, stripe. I think it's pretty OEM. I think a lot of the Hondas came with that like off color stripe. And um, off to the back there, you guys can kind of see a little VTEC logo by the rear wheels. Um, front headlights are lensed along with uh, painted uh, turn signals which just looks completely realistic to me and uh and the honda logo is actually like embossed I, or it's like it's like raised so that's like an extra detail it's not just painted which is crazy i don't know if that's a separate piece or not but yeah it's like raised it's not just like a stamp you know oh my god it's not even in camera yeah it's not stamped yeah, so that's really, really crazy. The windshield wipers are really, really like popping. Just looks so realistic. And um, yeah, put that back on the turntable for you guys. And we'll look at Tomica Limited Vintage in a little, in a little bit. Uh, take a look at that uh, detailed exhaust in the rear and um, the uh, defroster lights on the rear, the rear windshield is just absolutely beautiful. It's not too thick either. Like Johnny Lightning, they'll do like really thick lines for the the defrosters. So I, I like that it's like really thin. Makes it true to 164 scale, you know? Uh, looking at the interior, straight black. It's like a bucket-ish seat. One piece, it looks like. Uh, I'm not sure if this is Oya or a original for the Jap uh, the EGs in Japan, but I know for a fact this wasn't how they looked in 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 America. They Amer in America the seats were kind of hanging off to one side, uh, which Tomica Limited Vintage nailed on that. So I'll show you guys that in a little bit. Um, but yeah, so uh, plastic base, 
and screw down um, base so it's easy for customizers plastic base which you know to me is not a big deal um, I don't really use uh, it's not a requirement for me to for a premium model so but I just love the 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 uh, windshield wipers um and then the uh the the detailed exhaust is absolutely amazing and even the tail lights just have that like detail from like the the uh the reverse lights on, on the the clear and then the the turn signals on the orange and just absolutely fantastic just how well they detailed that yeah look at that crazy crazy even the uh the rear windshield wipers are very very nicely detailed so yeah let me go ahead and show you guys the uh, Tomica Limited Vintage um, I mean it's very similar to be honest uh, this is the only one I have the Tomica Limited Vintages are so much more expensive on the secondary market and they don't really release these as much anymore so yeah we'll go ahead and look at this one um, Tomica Limited Vintage does roll it rolls nice really nice uh, and it does have suspension as you guys can see like there's this there's a little like bounce to it if you guys press down on it so yeah that's a really nice plus for tlv is they roll beautifully they roll like butter not like hot wheels but yeah well enough well enough for sure so that's that's that um looking at the front here uh the windshield wipers are not as nicely detailed i would say as the tlv or hobby japan is but it's it's good enough you know um the the headlights in the front are just clear which to me kind of has more of that aftermarket vibe i would have liked to have details like the orange details on the uh the turn signals in the front um but i do like this one because compared to hobby japan um, you can kind of see circles in the front, like kind of like inserts, whereas Tomica, they kind of hide it a little better. So it kind of looks a little bit more realistic to me. Um, but yeah, and, uh, of course, Tomica Limited Vintage, they always do the, uh, white, uh, license plates, which you, you know, love it or hate it. Um, Tomica Limited Vintage, the Honda symbol is painted. It's, or it's like a stamp. It's not like embossed like the uh, Hobby Japan one is. So that's another, another, not a flaw, but another bad negative for me. And uh, looking at the interior, this is what OEM um, interior should look like. Let me see if I could. Yeah, as you guys can see there, this is how it's supposed to look. It kind of like hangs off to one side. Let me see. Yeah, it kind of hangs off to one side like that. Um, that's the like original for America, I want to say. That's what I, I, I saw growing up. So yeah, gray interior. Um, so Tomica wins the interior on that for me just because it's original. And in uh, side profile wise, I do like how it's more visible. Uh, I mean, of course, the paint color uh, has a, a play in too. I mean, this is red. I'm sure if this was like a black EG, you would see it better, but you guys can kind of see it. Um, very small. This one's a lot bigger, so I do like that more. Uh, wheels are, of course, more aftermarket style on the TLV versus the uh, Hobby Japan. But they both, if you guys can look, see that. Let me see if I could um, fix the... Uh, uh, the focus there you go you guys can see honda logos on both the hobby japan and also the tlv is there so that's really awesome too really really cool rear wise um uh, hobby japan for me takes it the exhaust is amazingly detailed so yeah and the tail lights i think are just a lot better looking on the uh hobby japan and uh, yeah, the the rear mirrors, uh, rear windows are kind of clear, just clear on the TLV, whereas the Hobby Japan has fog light, uh, the fog defrosters. So. And also the tail lights, or the Honda logo is also embossed here, whereas here it's just painted. So 
Yeah, you guys let me know. I mean, honestly, Tommy could limited vintage roll, so I don't know. To me, I like my models that roll, but I think as far as details go, I would have to uh, vote on uh, Hobby Japan as the winner. But you guys let me know what you guys think. Uh, what's your favorite 164 uh, brand for EGs? Uh, and let me just quickly compare it with the Hot Wheels. I know in the past videos uh people really like it when i compare like the size to hot wheels um so that's the comparison there a lot a lot bigger hot wheels is as usual so um hot wheels is a lot cheaper though so um it's six dollars in the store um so you know you guys you get what you pay for so let me know what you guys think um which 164 uh eg is your favorite I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, uh, I was, I'm trying to post videos uh, four times uh, a week. So keep an eye out for that. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys then. God bless you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed again. And uh, have a great rest of your week, guys. Peace.